How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to open up the Lenovo ThinkPad E15 laptop and this is the first generation model so keep that in mind. I got this laptop stock with the one terabyte hard disk drive and just boot times are slow and navigating through Windows is a little bit clunkier than I would like. We're gonna do an SSD upgrade. After we open the bottom, I'll show you guys how you would upgrade RAM as well and change the battery if your battery has gone bad years and years down the road. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the computer. So before anything, you're going to want to power your laptop off. Then you're gonna turn this bad boy over and get the eight screws at the bottom. You can just attack them with a small Phillips head electronic screwdriver and they are located here, 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 and here. The screws don't actually come out of the bottom case. They kind of just float because there's a clip on the other side that holds them in which is a nice feature so you don't lose any screws. Then you're gonna wanna take a small plastic prying tool such as a guitar pick or a spudger and you're going to run it along the outside of the computer. You need to get it between the bottom case and the upper of the computer and I find it easiest to start here in the corner by the hinge. As you run your tool over long, you will hear clips unclipping. And as soon as you do the entire outside of the computer, you should be able to get a finger or two underneath the bottom and you work your way around this side and eventually lift off the bottom case. Here's a better look at the screw design. As you can see, there's a little circular clip that holds the screw from falling out of the bottom case once it is completely loose. Now that we have the bottom case off, you can see the guts of the computer. If you were to replace the battery, you would order a model L17 M3 P52 compatible battery. And then to take out this old one, pull this little tab connector away from the motherboard, take out this one screw right here, take out this screw right here, and then the battery should lift out. And then to reinstall the battery, you're going to slide it in with these little bottom tabs first. They're gonna go under these three little plastic holders and then you're going to rest it in there. Put back in the two screws and then you're going to plug in the battery to the motherboard. However, for this video, we're gonna leave it unplugged just to make sure that there's no power to anything. Now for this laptop model, there's only one RAM slot. If you were to upgrade the original eight gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna pull on these two little RAM arm holders. It's going to lift the RAM up a little bit and then you'll just pull the RAM out. And then if you're gonna replace it with an upgrade of 16 gigabytes of RAM. You'll put in the 16 gigabytes, press it so it clicks, and then you'll press down on the RAM and it will lock it back into place. Now for hard drives, you're gonna be looking over here. This came with a one terabyte hard disk drive. It's a slower spinning drive. You could replace it with a SATA drive right into this spot, or you can install an M.2 drive right here. They already have the screw and that's what we're going to do. We're going to back out that screw. We're gonna slide in our SSD. It does pop up at an angle when you put it in. Then we're going to press it down, install that screw. The SSD size is a 2280. It will also fit the M.2 NVMe and it would fit a 2240 as well you would just have to get an adapter for this. I will put a link to the compatible SSDs as well as the adapter in the description. Now we're gonna remove the hard drive that is already installed. We're just going to lift it out and then disconnect this SATA cable right here. And then we're gonna take out the rubber casing. We're gonna put that back and I'm actually going to remove this from the computer. Now you could leave it in here to have extra storage. You could upgrade this as well as this SSD. I will put a link to the solid state drive 
that you could install here in the description. It's totally up to you. However, I'm going to remove the hard drive because I don't need the extra storage and I'm gonna use this to upgrade a PlayStation or an Xbox in the future. And since I'm leaving this bay empty, I'm gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm going to tape down that ribbon cable and I'm also going to tape down and this little hard drive plastic adapter so they don't move around when we reinstall the bottom case, which we're gonna do right now. So now we're going to plug back in the battery, take your bottom case, it only can go on one way. The notched portion goes towards the hinge of the laptop and you're going to press it down. You'll hear it starting to click into place. So you'll press around all of the edges, reattaching all those little clips. Take your Phillips screwdriver and then screw in all eight screws on your bottom case. Now that the bottom case is back on, we're going to flip our computer over, open it up and continue to press on the top case to bottom case where it meets and click into place any other parts you might've missed. Now that we have a new hard drive in the computer, we're gonna have to load Windows onto it. And the way you do that is with a USB with Windows on it. Can't show you guys exactly how to make this in this video. I will come out with a video in the future showing how to make the Windows 10 bootable USB. It's 100% free and it's available from Microsoft's website. It's all legit. I will have some resources in the description of this video on making this USB. We're gonna plug the USB into our computer. Now that the USB is in, we're gonna have to get the computer to boot to our boot menu. So when you turn the computer on, as soon as you see Lenovo logo, you have to press enter and it brings you into this interrupt menu. Then we're gonna have to hit F12 to choose a temporary startup device and then it's going to enter this boot menu and I'm going to click to boot from the USB. And now instead of booting from nothing, it's going to boot from the USB where I can install Windows. I'm not gonna walk you through the entire Windows installation. I'll leave that for another video, but I will show you guys the final product when Windows is installed. A few moments later. Windows is loaded. I now have a snappy 256 solid state drive. I do want to do updates to get all of the correct drivers installed on this computer. So I typed in updates into this bar and now it's going to check for updates. I'm not going to upgrade to Windows 11. And then it pulls up all of these drivers and updates that the system needs that were specific to this computer. I also could install the Lenovo Vantage software and do it that way, which I probably will, but that's not really what this video is about. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project. And if you have any questions about this upgrade or any other upgrades, let me know about it in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.